Um, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name's Kwabna, and this is Apoma Johnson from the Ancestral War. And we're standing at a, a World Heritage Site here, um, African Ancestral War. We wanted to announce a new initiative that we really want your help with. Um, this is a beautiful town, Ningo Pram Pram, but there's obviously needs here. Yes. And uh, myself and sister, um, my two brothers, and my company, Asasi, and Uncle Jerry Johnson, mm -hmm. your husband, we wanted to announce that we're about to start an initiative for 140 children mm -hmm. in this local school here, where they will come here for three sessions, three times. Three times, sir. Over three months. Month, yes. And the purpose of them coming is to come and learn about their about history. About their history, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How do you feel we'll teach them? What are we going to teach them? We have to, we want to teach them our own history and then uh, impart some knowledge about life to them. It's not all about school or books. It's about social, your social life is also important. What you want to go to be in future. So we want to teach them all those that when they grow up, they have something, some kind of skills that they can use to, I mean, feed themselves. They cannot go to school without home sense. You know, you have to put some sense and history behind them so we, they can grow up to be some, you know, responsible leaders. We can have some responsible leaders in town you know it's not all about i mean politics but it's about history knowledge home knowledge and then we go so there's so many great men and women here on the walls and we're hoping that when the 140 children come here and they come here three times and they get to learn about so many of these great men and women that we feel like if we can even inspire one of these children mm. to try and emulate someone here then i think the project would have been worthwhile and we're appealing for your help. Um, the project's gonna cost £1,700, which is about $2,300. Um, me and my brothers and my company are gonna put £1,000 towards it. So I need another £700. And we're gonna put a GoFundMe link, and we're just asking for any of you that can spare a dollar or a pound or more to contribute so we can help 140 kids with the history. We also have plans that we want to dig a borehole in this school mm -hmm. we don't want to keep just giving 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 the history is different the history will give them the basis by which to have an, an elevation and power in their life but where the school is we've been donating water, water yes. and we can't keep doing that we need to give people means to be self-sufficient yeah. so we're gonna dig a borehole and we're gonna dig the borehole in a location in the school grounds which we're also going to use for a small-scale farm so Asasi will clear an area in that school um, we have one of our partners, Dondo Gardens. I'm going to beg him if he can come and give some basic lessons. Yes, and we have some other of our customers that are really, really passionate about growing food. Mm -hmm. And we're going to ask their permission. They've actually given me some GMO, non-GMO seeds that we can start doing a mini farm so the school can sell and have some element of self-sufficiency, including the water yes. that they produce. We think they can sell that water and hopefully produce some funds to to finance the various projects they need to do yes i think that's the best way to go i think so and what we're saying to ourselves is when the children come here there'll be no religion we're not talking about religion no we're not talking about, about politics, politics. Out. out yeah we don't want that here mm -hmm. if you understand your history no those way. two things sort themselves out it's true perfect <laughs> so um, we need your help. We'll send a link in, in the profile and the bio. I'm going to send privately to my friends and family. I'm sure Sister Mama, you'll do the same. I will do the same. I'll send it to friends and family. Yeah. Especially the people who come through the wall. Everybody is talking about help, help, help. So please, this is the time. We need you on board. We all have to chip in and then let's see how best we can help our children and future generation. And um, we'll start off with this one school. We'll start off, we will demonstrate to you and be accountable for what the money's being used for, and then you will see. And when we finish, we'll go to another school and we'll find another initiative. But every school we go to, 
the children will come here for three times to do courses and what we're going to do is when the kids come here they will pick someone that they feel mm. that one person then we're going to go to wikipedia or anywhere will print yes. like a summary yes. bio of that individual mm. and then we'll write the kid's name on they'll make a list abamar's kids will make the list and then we'll print it write the kid's name on. we'll go back to the school and give they them need, need. this bio so they can read yes. about that individual because otherwise when they leave here there's no books there's no internet access but at least maybe that two or that three pages would help them to continue reading or research i mean do more yeah it will inspire them yes. to do more mm -hmm. thank you guys that's all i hope you will help us thank mm -hmm. you god bless